Cow Beach, let's start another playthrough. <laughs> I had so much fun with the journey, so journey of the gods. So this moss, um, I read that it's kind of like an adventure action game. It's kind of like, oh, it's on un Unreal, so that's great. <sighs> we'll see. What's it about? Why is it seated? <laughs> um, okay. So, I, I will stand, obviously. But I guess I will read and stuff like that. No, it's fine. If it's just like that. is always uh, important. Wait. Oh, okay. Um, settings. Music narration. Subtitles. Yeah. I don't want a French now. <laughs> no, but Cantonese. Maybe it should be fr No, English. Um, controls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Hell yeah. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the Serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the Underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the King power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted. Every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. I wanna check again if there's like uh, 
hard mode or something because I would not change my setup when I play VR, but you know. Okay. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. That hero, oh, bitch. albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. What the hell? <gasps> Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in. But she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. So cute! She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering oh God, down I'm at her. <laughs> Quill had to hurry. The village gates would oh, soon yeah. close, and night would follow. Oh my God. I'm like a, a spectator and I'm streaming Quill. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Holy hell. It's so cool. Okay, that's good. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. <laughs> Oh, 
Start because I saw this scroll and I wanna get it. I wanted to get this scroll. It's here.
Follow my gun. Uh. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. Uh, well, but she died a couple of times, so that's another thing. Okay! She responds to my face. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Her uncle is a squirrel? <laughs> I hope not. Hello! 